Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome to the dive, episode 3. So some more EVE Online, some more wormhole adventures. Now at the moment my brother still has to entertain some guests. So he'll be here later on. Um, and I guess I'll start uh, with, um, with the scanning myself then. So currently on D-Scan, nothing special to report. Um, I also took a quick look at... Um, Let's see, warp within 100. I also took a, a quick look on Dotlan and it seems that this wormhole has not been active in like 46 hours or something like that. In the meantime, I can see that the live stream is going as well, so that's good. So yeah, let's let's first do some scanning, see what we get around. Um, and uh, if it takes too long, then I will do uh, one or two combat sites uh, myself. And there are my probes out, so that's nothing to be worried about either. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're in a C2 at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're just going to continue our adventures a little bit. There is the customs office. Cloak up. And a quick last scan, and that's looking all right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five signatures in system. Let's see what we can discover. Uh, let's let's start with a couple of the of the ones right here at the center, and then keep half an eye on uh, on the D scan as well, since I am alone at the moment. Let's see, ten percent on this one. Uh, I'll try and double. And what are you? Good question. And that's a wormhole right off the bat. So this could be an exit um, if we if we needed it. So that's very interesting. Let's do go like that. Uh, let me have a quick look here. Get a couple safe spots. Uh, wormhole high. That's the wormhole that came from high. I think I can just delete that. Remove the location and go back to the scanner and I've got the first one so save location and I'll go for the stable wormhole one submit okay that's one down Let's see what else we can find and keep one eye on the direct D scan as well but I I don't think at the moment you know if you look at Dotlam on J101307 like 42 hours ago uh, a little bit of activity but that's really it. So personally, I think we're okay. Uh, Safety-wise at the moment. So let's see what else we've got. And here we go. This can looking okay. So uh, for the rest, you know, that's pretty decent here. Look at all of these uh, anomalies. Quite a few combat sites to do if we really want to. And that was not a very successful scan. Let's see if I can find something a little better like this. Hmm, the best one 3.5. Let's see what that's like. Oops, maybe down a bit. And come on, give me a good signal here. Ominous sounds all around me, of course, in normal space. And there we go. What's my skill queue looking like? Eight days, that's good. And another wormhole, um, 28%. Uh, the good thing about this is that it's a potential, uh, another avenue for us to explore later on. The bad news is um, normally a wormhole only has one static, so that does mean that someone scanned this from outside and probably came in here. At least chances are good that that's the case. So this is actually a riskier element 
uh, to this wormhole. The fact that there's a second one means it's not only the static one. Let's see if I can get it. Yep, here we go. Save location. Let's call that number two. Submit. And now let's see if we can uh, find the other ones as well. Normally I let my brother do this uh, before we start the stream. But uh, yeah, today we still have some things to... Uh, to get uh, taken care of as well so I'm just doing a little bit of scanning first on my own and default that's all looking okay yeah I really should do another D scan on the next run though so let's do that scan nope just the towers and the probes so that's good What's next? Looks like it's going to be decently difficult to scan down. So here then. Six percent? Jesus. And up a little. Come on, find this. Do, do a good scan this time because this is not the best. And another wormhole. Alright. Very interesting. That certainly gives us options. And um, in case, you know, we get attacked, there are plenty of, of uh, wormholes for us to retreat to. So here we go, 62%. Yeah, I'll get that one as well. Nice. A bit surprised how long it takes to get a decent signal out, but we'll find it. And there we go. Save location. Wormhole number three. Okay, that's not the best, but it's okay. And the other signals, signatures. We're over here on the right, I think. So let's do it in. And 4.5%. Maybe a double one can be done here. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Major part of uh, wormhole space. Hey, there, this can. That all looks all right. 17%. Down a bit. Find something interesting. Unfortunately, of course, these are not all in one battle cruisers. So if it's a data or a relic site, probably. And that's a gas site. Not worth it too much. I'll see if I can do a double one, otherwise I'll just check the other signature, see what that is. There you go, Baron Perimeter Reservoir. Let's see if we can find the other signature quickly. The three wormholes, two gas sites. And that's okay. And there is Ryloth at the moment, so once I'm finished here, see what he wants. In the EVE Duels channel, um, if you ever want to like talk to me, I am a lot in the EVE Duels channel or in the Live Events channel. So let's say hello. And another wormhole, four wormholes. Okie dokie. I'll just let them know that we are live at the moment. J101307. Just, just in case uh, they start uh, putting down some rude comments or anything like that. Let's just let them know 
that uh, whatever they type might be shown live. So here we go. And final wormhole. So let's save that location up to number four. And we'll take a look at that later. So I can call my probes back. Um, can actually also reload them like that. And once that's done, I'll do a quick uh, check of the stream. So, oh, I have to wait another 15 seconds, do I? So let's see um, if this one is okay. Are you going all right? On to the live. Yeah, looks all right. Looks like it's still working. So here we go. That's that's usually the first uh, thing you do when you log in. And hello there, Tricky. Uh, that's usually the first uh, thing you do when you log in in a wormhole. Uh, check whatever else is around there to to do. Um, of course, three, four wormholes. That might actually be a bit of a risk. At least some of these must have been scanned from outside uh, K162 signatures. So that does mean that other people have come across this wormhole. They might put a scout here, a cloaky scout or something like that. Although this scan is looking pretty clear at the moment. So what I'll do, you know, my brother is still uh, downstairs somewhere. Um, I'll just try a first sight on my own. We'll see uh, how it works out. If I have to retreat, then I have to retreat. That happens as well. But we have one, two, three, four wormholes to check out after that. So first thing I'll do is I'll try a, let me see here. Uh, perimeter checkpoint. Let's go see if, if I can handle this solo in this battle cruiser. And if not, then I'll retreat. <laughs> yeah. Rylot would join me, but yeah, in, in, a, in a wormhole like this, very unlikely that he'll, he'll find a, a quick access to me. So here we go, activate damage control, and let's see uh, how we handle a, a site on my own. And how that works out. It might just be, you know, if the battleship starts hitting me, I might have to retreat. But uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Here we are. First target's gonna be the serious batteries. Get my speed up. Get my hammerheads out. Decent speed, decent damage. Um, yeah, half shields in like one volley, and that's out of range. Here we go. That should be better now. Yeah, look at that from 60 kilometers. Those are pretty serious hits. Preemptive ripping going in. Oh, the other one is actually at 85. That's annoying. And another problem now uh, is, of course, I'm sending my hammerheads pretty far uh, out from... Uh, from myself so that could be a problem as well if they get targeted you know by the time they're back here and uh, that could be bad news let's see how my tank holds up and how i can handle this one eye on this can as well of course now we are starting to approach this some damage going in misses serious battery oh god come on guys do some damage He's the next one I want, but that's still still too far away. Uh, so far, tank is, is actually holding. If they don't nut me down, this should be okay. So, here we go. Should start to be in range. Add some missile damage. Yep, yeah, solo, solo sleeper sight in a C2. Let's see if I can handle it. There they go. And, oh, uh, one of my hammerheads under attack. Bad news, bad news. Come on, hurry up now, get back. Let's hope I'm close enough. Some armor damage. And he should be back in. So let's put, uh, put a hobgoblin in the mix then. And here goes the next one. 
luckily by now I'm close enough but as you can see you know they, they don't really like your drones and if they would do this earlier uh, they could be in a lot of trouble if they have to travel 10 15 kilometers back to your ship uh, you might be in more trouble than this tank is holding okay though but next hammerhead being targeted <laughs> annoying annoying sleepers god damn it luckily first serious is starting to be in structure so that one's back too let's replace that with another hobgoblin and luckily luckily my tank is doing okay so what, what I'll do first I think I'll try and take care of this patroller while I head for that next battery uh, maybe add a little bit of missile damage there as well Ah, the gas hide should have some sleeper as well. Thanks for that, Tricky. I'll check that out uh, after this. Maybe it's a good place to retreat to if I get into trouble. Uh, not sure if it's actually going to remember it, though. And we'll dive below the sleeper structure, which is still whole. And um, let's see, am I going to risk looking at it? Why not? One second, that'll be okay. I really like this, this center. It really gives off a vibe of strange, powerful structure. Who knows what it's used for by those, uh, by these sleepers. Very mysterious. Fits well with the team. Looks, looks really cool. So here we go. Next up, another serious battery. Let's hope we get the deeps. And my tank, my tank is doing quite well at the moment. And two of these batteries, that's a lot of damage. And there you go, another one of my hobgoblins targeted now. So time to get him back. Go, go. Yep, he's back. Well, then if I'll keep, I'll keep putting other drones out. <laughs> Next up, I'll add a warrior two in the mix. If that's how you want to play it. That's how we will play it. Let's start targeting the wrists. So that one is now also going in structure. Look at that warrior zooming around there at full speed. Uh, next up another frigate one. We'll take care of that first. Scan. Alright, he's gone. Next up. Emergent Patroller. And now they're all on me, right? That looks like it. Let's choose another one that's decently close now for my orbit. He's gone, you are next. Drones away. Let's see if that's enough to break uh, this uh, this awakened patrol or two hammerheads, one gob uh, two up goblins, one warrior, two. If it's not, you know, I can get uh, more damaging drones out. But I do like the fact that they're fast enough to get back if they are targeted. If I had my ogres out, I would have been in a lot more trouble to get them back safe. And this is looking like it's gonna work. Tank still okay. Luckily, my uh, my prophecy here is is uh, it is a prophecy, right? Because me and names, that's really bad. Yeah, it is my prophecy. <laughs> um, is is cap stable at at pretty even over uh, 50 percent cap still left so my optimal cap is around 30 percent then the recharge range is maximum but it's doing quite all right so here we go this can looking okay this one will get broken so that's good let's start orbiting the next one And now they're staying on me, which is good. And just add some damage, guys. Add some damage. Yes. Alright, you are next. 
good choice. Scanning and firing. So this is actually a good test, you know. Uh, is this doable solo in a C2? A C1, I'm pretty sure that that's easily soloable in a battle cruiser like this. Uh, but yeah, this is a C2 site. Um, normally we'll see battleships spawn and then it's gonna get more interesting, I think. Right. And so my brother is here as well in the meantime, so he did really fast to get rid of our guests. Well, our father is still at home. Okay. Say hello. Uh, well, what, what have we scanned down? Uh, four wormholes and one gas site, and I started a first combat site perimeter camp. So, uh, so you're busy already. Yeah, I'm already fighting some sleepers. Yes, here we go, Fitz being formed now, and I'll add him to watch lists. Missiles reloaded. So, so far the tank's been holding out quite well. And was like two series batteries, two frigates, and three cruiser side sleepers. Mm -hmm. And my prophecy did quite well, except that they don't like my drones. And with more ships, of course, your drones tend to be a bit more safe, so... But it's still working out okay. And... That one is down, and here comes the Cyclone. Uh, so far, I've not seen anything on this scan, you know, now I have to give my, my brother a quick, uh, quick information about what I found out as well. Um, I checked the wormhole on Botlan, and last activity 42 hours ago, some NPC kills. Yeah. But nothing special. We do have four wormholes, so some of them are probably going to be incoming. And I will have to be at least a little bit careful about that. But so far, all seems pretty quiet. One eye on this scan, nothing to report there. So here we go. Yep, so after the site, if you want, I'll salvage it and you can say a quick hello. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll go downstairs quickly then. Well, while I probably fail to entertain our guests. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it your best shot. Um, oh, there aren't many wrecks anymore. Oh, they're still coming. Right. Yeah, first uh, wave has to uh, still has to come, so... So here we go. Actually, uh, more medium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start to switch to uh, medium and heavy drones, I think. And with my brother here as well, should be even less of a problem. So come back as well, you please. In the meantime, a couple ogres out. And a couple more mm. of these. They are firing heavily at me. Oh, I can actually let my... Uh... What the hell? Why won't he come out? Oh, don't have enough bandwidth, that's why. <laughs> so another hop then. And you are next. Engage. But this is the advantage of doing this with uh, two people, you know. Um, even if your ship, even if it would end up being so that, that my prophecy can't actually uh, actually, we'll go for this one first. I uh, can't handle the battleships on his own. When there's two people, you know, you, you get some respite in between all the incoming damage. So you can save some cap uh, or, or rep back up a little bit. And that is, of course, the big advantage of doing this together with someone else. Uh, when you have to solo, you know, once you come in a C3, I'd say it's going to be really hard to solo this stuff. C1 and C2, I think it can be done in a good battle cruiser, especially a Tech 2 battle cruiser if, if you're willing to risk that. Uh, but uh, yeah, with two people, you just have way more options. Um, and because they switch like that, it becomes a lot easier to do. So let's start approaching the next one here. First battleship out together with some, some small ones. They're actually too far at the moment. No, they're targeting me. 
Yeah, except the two mediums that are left. Well, they're coming closer now. These can just cargo containers, so that's okay. There come the missiles. Sleepless Patroller. And you will be next. Engage. So my brother is already taking care of the small sleepers over yonder. Oh, they're actually right pretty close to him I think yeah they are targeting me the battleship just uh, switched to you yeah so. there come the more impressive missile explosions you take the loot from there yeah. well I'll first I'll focus on, on finishing everything I think oh, the small ones have also uh, <laughs> switched. switched yeah it's drones can barely keep up <laughs> it's, it'll be okay I think uh, the battleship will take a little bit of time. That one's down. Um, yeah, okay, I'll quickly switch by that loot and then I'll head right for the battleship. That's right, don't forget to use um, this stuff. Just a little bit of sleep or data. Battleship is next. I'll reload some fury. Tank is doing okay, but you can see that the battleship, the battleship does do some serious DPS. Whoa, tricky! Tr <laughs> Two years ago, you soloed C trees in a passive Drake. Don't know if, the, if that's viable these days. Uh, I don't know. We we tried. I think it was a a C two. Uh, where my brother tried it out in a passive drake and he really got overwhelmed pre pretty quickly once the battleship was there. So I was there as well. Oh. I think it was in like a Myrmidon who luckily had some remote reps and managed to keep him alive a little bit. But his passive tank did get broken. So uh, unless you have like really good skills and all the implants and stuff, it's, it's really hard, especially for a passive ship. I don't think it's uh, possible anymore. Uh after they fixed uh, the sleeper newting. Ah, there you there go. Was a, there was a bug. Well, for a passive one, that shouldn't be a problem, of course. Well, I think it's quite difficult to make a passive drake without at least some active hardeners, but maybe a full passive uh, setup is possible, but I, I'm still not sure, because if it's full-on passive, you don't even have an afterburner to speed tank. Yeah, so I, I as also. As soon as think you're completely capped out, you'll just be a, a brick, and sleepers do a lot of damage. Yeah, I, I also find it difficult to see how it, that would uh, last while there's like a battleship and two mediums pounding on you. That that's gonna melt decently quickly, and uh, an active tank is probably what you want there. So here we go, right on top of the uh, sleeper battleship. Looks really cool. Well, it's being peppered on all sides by missiles. And there you can see it's, uh, it's lasers firing. Is cool stuff. Oh, it just switched. This is going to be the first battleship. There's likely to be another one. Yeah. This can is looking okay. This one is being broken. It does look like I can... Or is it firing at you at the moment? No. Mm -hmm. It does look like I can actually avoid a lot of its damage now by orbiting really close to it, like 2k. Yep. So now it's definitely having some tracking problems against me. As you can see right there, it's actually missing a lot. Misses you completely. <coughs> So maybe, yeah, with, with the right tactics, but once there's two or three of them, they'll quickly go to their orbital, they're so fast. 
I, I think it's really tough to do. Um, oh, and that's actually it. Yeah. Let's see if I can open that up. Return to drone bay. Let's see what kind of loot is, it, it has though. Everyone back. Everyone back. I have two nano ribbons uh, so far. Okay, not bad. This is another 1.5 million in loot. Um, so I'm heading off to the safe spots. Yep. Um, and then I'll say a quick hello to our father who is here to visit. After burn fit, one invulnerable was the active modules, but I heard there was passive tank nerf at some point. That's why I asked. The resistances are definitely down, so all the passive resistances are down. Yeah. And yeah, the, the Drake also took a nerf in DPS. I don't know, maybe if you have enough DPS, you can like uh, destroy actually, them before they overwhelm you. Oh. Actually, it's, uh, it's a nerf in tank that the Drake took. Oh. Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it the... doesn't have the uh, resist bonus anymore. Ah, well, there you go. So it's going to be really hard to do at the moment. Mission attribute. Anyways, click D scan. Oh no, it still has the shield resistance. But that's a little oh, bit no. down, I think. But it is down. It is 20% rather than 25. Right? Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm quickly going to salute, say hello to my dad. I'll leave you in the capable hands of my brother. I'll see you guys in a minute. Yes. Right. Capable hands. <laughs> uh, I can't even see the chat, so... Wait, can I can I put it on? Mm. I hope Eve doesn't crash if I do that. Mm. Well, mm. my salvage drones are finishing off the last Rex. I'll take the loot. Oh, don't forget D scan. Nothing. So about those sleepers, who knows anything about the lore? Um, the buildings are still active and I've read the books the uh, what was it Templar 1 Templar 1 do I have the book here yes I have it here Templar 1 uh, which actually has a part that explains a lot about the sleepers but I'm not entirely sure how much of that is actually going to end up being official lore uh, I can confirm if if this uh, the lore from the book holds that the uh, that the sleepers are related to the Jovians that they were actually some sort of um, caste or uh, elite within the Jove Empire uh, that already used virtual reality to uh, to actually get the Jovians all their technology, but. Uh, but they left. They left. I don't know when. Actually, it's more detailed in the book. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool that they are related to the Jovians. Personally, I hope we will one day be able to go to Jovian space. I was actually secret, uh, secretly hoping that this uh, expansion would open it up, <laughs> but that was not a. Uh, not gonna be realistic. So, so yes, I'm not used to talking to a public, particularly when I can't see them. And you guys probably can't see anything either because my brother is at a safe spot while I'm still at the site. Mm. I'm hearing stuff. Yep, I am back. Oh. I am actually back. Okay, I have no idea. Maybe we lost absolutely everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five viewers, so we're still doing okay. Mm. Um, I talked very quickly about the sleeper and Jovian lore, but yeah, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so our our dad is actually just gotten back from a week vacation. He's in Belgium for two days, and then he's gone again so he's really living the life um did have you finished uh, salvaging yeah i'm just taking my drones back now and i'm done 
All right, then we'll head for a second site and then we'll check and the uh, the wormholes that I've put in the bookmarks. So let's yeah, see. Yeah. Quick T scan. That's looking okay. Uh, what yeah. we'll do? Yeah, you go first, and I'll join in. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. just take something, and I will see. Damage control is back up, and drones are ready. T scan. Okay, we are in warp. And I am there. You can uh, you can join me. So this is another uh, perimeter checkpoint. It's actually the same what we did last time so this should be okay uh, maybe one thing oh actually should start approaching them while they shoot me um maybe this time i'll use hmm i'll take care of the frigates first with my hobgoblins then go for the series because they are so far away that is a little bit annoying so here we go let's take the hops out and it, it was really these small ones that we're targeting my medium and small drone. So let's see if I can take care of those first. And then quickly go on to the series batteries. If that works out. You know my tank is doing quite alright. So this might just be a bit easier on the drone management. Uh, this can looking alright. And here we go. Oh, you can actually also take some missiles. Like that. <laughs> Try to keep it down. And here we go. Next one. But well, so far this wormhole looks pretty pretty vacant. Uh, a lot of sites still available. And one of my hobgoblins under attack. So could you guys please stop that? Uh, the cyclone fit, sure. Uh, just give me one second. Uh, link it again? Yep, feel free to link it again in fleet. Uh, just give me one second as well to organize my drones. And one medium out, orbit here, engage. And that's okay. So. That's my brother Cyclone that is currently flying. Uh, let's have a quick look here. I'll show you everything. Core probe launcher, five heavy missile launcher twos, and a prototype cloaking device. Uh, in the medium slots, large shield extender two, medium shield booster two, 10 mm afterburner, and two adaptive invulnerability field twos. Low slots with damage control, two ballistic control systems, and two capacitor power relays. Uh, in the rig slot, medium capacitor control circuits, anti EM screen reinforcers, so EM resist, uh, probably to make it an, uh, a tank for all resistances, and then one medium gravity capacitor upgrade for the scanning. And you are down, so you are next. Um, and then, yeah, just some uh, a lot of missiles, some Nova Mjolnir, Inferno, and Skirt Heavy missiles. It's 20 core uh, scanner probes, actually only have 8, might be a mistake. Some antimatter charge imps. Why? Yeah, um, that's from the Grista site. <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, from last episode, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, 5 Hobgoblin 2s and 5 Salvage Drone 1s. So, and there you go, that's my brother Cyclone. Good shield tank, decent uh, missile damage, and then five up goblins to help out, and five salvage drones to grab the loot. Uh, these, these ships are really only for combat sites. Uh, we can't do data or relic sites, but uh, really brick tanks, uh, some some damage that will work at anything within range, and then some versatility with drones. That's the setup we're going for. This can looking clear. 
next series will die soon. I'll actually yeah, start I'm turning around. Working. And well, just in case you're interested, here is my uh, prophecy fit. So I've got uh, three heavy missile launchers, cloak and uh, core probe. Then I get a point, uh, just in case, you know, if we catch someone, uh, I won't hesitate. Um, after burner, two cap, cap recharges, then definitely like a brick tank, you know, uh, adaptive nano, thermic membrane, explosive membrane kinetic membrane and adaptive nano again some more auxiliary nano pump nano pump accelerator one more for the cap so it's stable and then medium armor repair too so really again here decent damage versatility with the drones of course this can take a lot more drones and actually i should start flying manually a bit uh, some damage with missiles and then just yeah brick tank basically nothing speed or anything like that So those are our two ships. Uh, how many um, nano ribbons did you end up? Um, I still only have two. Hmm. Okay, only ten million. Yeah, the battleship didn't drop anything. All right, next ones, man. They keep, they keep keeping the um, distance. Uh, time to switch to something stronger. So uh, ogres, more of this, and then more of this as well. Here we go. Who'll be first? A patroller. Missiles, and I do love this sleeper structure. Honestly, it looks really cool. You can see, I don't know, all that power right here in in the middle that pulsates. As you can see right there, oh, there it goes right in the middle, and then shoo, it disappears there. Really cool. Very nice uh, graphically to be in wormhole space. Come on, shoot them. Next patroller is closest. Yeah. And actually, I have not really looked at the effects here. Hmm, not sure where you see that, but yeah, wormholes have like different effects. Some can increase your tank, increase your speed, uh, some can be more punishing. It depends on, on the type of star the system has in, or is in. Or maybe C1s and C2s don't have effects, that's possible. I think they do, actually. But yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind. I'll start approaching these guys. Oh, the battleship is here. Yep. So try to take care of the small ones. Yep. I'll go once again for the two battle cruisers that are left. Oh, they're actually pretty close to you as well, so that'll be okay. So I'll actually send some fire that way. Let's see if uh, it's a bit risky sending my ogre twos out, but we'll see if it works out. Hammerhead misses patroller. And that's my they, missiles. They are very fast. <laughs> oh, um, 
Right, the other guy's out of range. So, get to these two. I mean, it misses Ogre 2, misses. Yeah, it's it's really gonna be. Well. Yep. That's my hobgoblins on that. There you go, it's gonna be my brother's hobgoblins. So, yeah, you guys go on that awakened escort. Um, I'll add a little bit of missile damage on that stuff. But this is, uh, I feel why, why drones are so so good, you know, because they are versatile, especially in a ship that can also field five um, medium drones or even a couple of heavy drones in there. Uh, against bigger targets, you get a lot of DPS. Against smaller targets, well, just switch over a bit. Um, grab those bigger drones and, and you'll still break them. Uh, hit bolt, uh, I'll check it. There's definitely no, no lag here uh, on our end so far. So I'll quickly do a quick check of the stream. On my end, we'll see. No, no, it's looking, it's looking really smooth here, actually. Uh, so I don't know, maybe refresh the browser or something, but I'm not experiencing any lag on my end or when I'm watching the stream on the same connection. So it should actually be okay. If anyone else does have lag or, or if there's any problems, let me know, of course. I'll see if, if there's anything I can do. Oh, that battleship does do a lot of damage when below half shields. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And so if then you're alone in a passive Drake. So let's hope he switches soon. Or that's maybe because your speed dropped as well. Yeah, it's possible. I'm back to over 50% now. Okay. Uh, looks like he's switching now, or... Yeah, there you go. He did switch, so... And here you go. Perfect example, you know. A single battleship managing to get my brother's cyclone below 50%. If you're alone, that's, that's pretty worrying, because he won't switch to anyone else. Uh, but with someone else there with you, that gives uh, my brother some respite, and now his tank is coming back nicely. Loading. Okay, good to hear there that it's fine on your end, Tricky. So, yeah, it's really looking like the stream itself is doing quite okay. And there you go, once you're close enough to this battleship, it seems that it's got some tracking problems. Because it's totally missing me. Interesting information to keep in mind. And there it goes, half armor. Good view here with uh, <coughs> with the, the sleeper structure. Uh, I have to say, of course, this site not a lot of ships. Uh, so compare this to the line where you have, I think, at least a dozen frigates that can all all potentially drop you a nano ribbon. Um, yeah, this is not necessarily better than a C1. We switched again. Yep, there he goes. Firing on the cyclone. But by now, as you can see, shields fully back up. And it's no problem like this. This is actually very enjoyable. Uh, we've, we've been doing pretty much all our EVE Online time has been doing uh, the dive. And so far we've enjoyed it quite a bit. You know, you never know what you'll encounter. And uh, that unknown is decently fun. Um, so, yeah, so far, pretty good, you know. Uh, nomadic life in um, in wormhole space, it's good fun. Not a great payout, though. I have to say, I, I would probably have made more uh, ISK um, with high-sec exploration in solitude. 
Yeah. Yes. But we've also been playing, we've hardly been playing outside of, of the live streams. So that is, uh, let's see, drones in local space go there. Another 1.5 million in drops. Yeah, I've got five nano ribbons now, so that's 30 million. So that's better. Uh, and I'll take my salvage drones out as well. And then let's press F. And I think someone asked, is there anything um, in wormhole space that salvage drones can't salvage? I think there is. Yes, I think uh, the high-end uh, battleships cannot be salvaged with the drones. So I'm not sure how the tiers work for it, but the highest end cannot be done with salvage drones. The very highest. Everything below the top can be. So yeah, it's really only one tier of battleship that you won't be able to salvage with the drones. So I think that's good news too. It's not like we're going to solo sites in a C4 or something like that and encounter that battleship too soon. So. Any more rigs after this one? I don't think so. Yeah, one more oh, yeah, one over more. there at 87. But they are having trouble. <laughs> Mine are <laughs> still going there, still trying to salvage. There they are. Ooh. Grab that loot. That's the cyclo. Oh yeah, I can actually stop wrapping now. And there comes the competition. Five more salvage drones. And that has to do with your skills, uh, mostly. Yeah, mine are at level four for the salvage drones. And there is still one left, yeah. Okay, come on. This is really taking a long time, so this is, it had better be a nice payout for whoever gets it. Just checking that we're still there, because but I can target you, which should be uh, it's too far away, but that should be uh, Yeah, I can see the little beams, they are working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what kind of battleship was that? And then it's gonna be like one uh, piece of whatever it is that yields some titanium. Scrap. Scrap. <laughs> I don't believe it. Come on. Let's see if I can recall one. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is the longest I've seen. 10 salvaging drones need to salvage for a single wreck. That's uh, unbelievable. I'm taking one of mine towards the other. Uh... Yeah. They're cool models, the salvage drones. Yep, they look pretty nice. A very home world feeling to that. Come on, that can't be right. <laughs> Return to drone bay. What the hell is this? No, they're actually all responding and returning. Yeah, the, it does depend a little bit on uh, on skills. 
but this is, is slowly getting ridiculous. There's <laughs> nine <laughs> salvage drones trying to take something out of that wreck. And it's not like it's a general salvaging bug, because we've had other stuff. Unless, of course, Unless it they is can't do that. Unless it's difficult for us. No. I don't think it would activate if that's... Because with the skills, you get uh, a warning. But yours is done there as well. This is yeah. really weird. I'll grab the last container, then come yeah, close, then and if it's not then done by then... Then we'll check out the wormholes that I found. Well, it's sleeper large basic wreck, so that should yeah, be should, the same as what we've done last time, so should be fine. <laughs> what the hell? Sleepless patroller, Rick. Should I blow it up? Nah. Why bother? Maybe I'll try abandoning. That works. So we are still online. <laughs> we are still on the server. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this Rick could indeed get its own bloody episode. That is, that is so weird. Normally everything is done pretty much by the time we've we've done all the sleepers, and now this one we've been going for five minutes now and nothing. Yep. I'm almost at the container. Yep. <laughs> take two salvage drones would be good in this case. <laughs> or just a take two salvager, but of course, if you want some da damage done, you need some high slots for that, so. Yeah, alright. Um, I'm gonna. Well, maybe your, your new guy here, he can maybe get it done or something. <laughs> but uh, this is pretty annoying. Yeah. I'm approaching now. Yeah, so. I'm recalling my drones because uh, this is just silly. Um, do you have the bookmarks in? Uh... Yeah, Wormal one through four. Yep. Yeah, re uh, recall your drones. This this is just silly. Sleepless patroller Rick will remember that. Uh, there's probably like four nano ribbons in that, but. Um, <laughs> But he said, no, you can't have it. Oh, we have seven now. <laughs> well, all right. So that's okay. Then I don't feel too bad. Uh, yeah, I'll warp uh, in at 30 on wormhole one. And uh, we'll see what we can find. So okay. four, four wormholes to check, which is not bad. And still, yeah, nothing on this scan. So wormhole space so far looking pretty vacant. But let's move on. Uh, now I've got probes. Yep, I definitely have probes as well. <laughs> Interesting. <thing> just <laughs> Interesting. So now we've got probes on this scan. So there is someone else in system. Uh, that looks like Galente space to me 
high security space. Yes, it is. It's Galente space. <laughs> okay, so number one, we can exit if we want. Yeah. Do we, do we want to check out the other? Two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want. I, I do. I'll warp in at twenty to Wormhole two. We do want to check it out. Hell, if there's some PVP <laughs> chance, why? And it's it's core scanner probe. It could be that it's someone that came in from uh, somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So what I do also want to do is try a warping at planet one, just to see if uh, you know that that's our reflex often. If you're just quickly doing a wormhole, go to planet one and scan from there. So next one, ooh, that looks more dangerous. Dangerous unknown parts of space. So that's gonna be like. I don't know, C4, C5, something like that. A yeah. lot more risky. Uh, we get a third wormhole to check here. So, oh, I actually chose at zero on that one. Okay, well, I'll do the same. Still, well, we get the probes on scan, but it's a cloaky as well. So maybe Probably. we should have. Well, actually, we were out of D scan range from where he is because we only saw like two probes at the time. Yeah. So you should know that we are around. <clears throat> uh, that's another dangerous. <clears throat> yep, clearly. And this is actually a Y... Uh, let's see, that's not a K162. No, both of the of those are Y six eight three. So, so both of those uh, originated from here. All right, next one at thirty, uh, which is interesting. So this could actually be a C two with a static, I don't know, C four, C five, or something like that. Yeah, maybe. And I suspect that the uh, wormhole one is going to be K one sixty two. So yeah. someone actually scanned an entrance here, and so th that makes it very likely that he's here. So I do want to check planet one at least, just to see if we don't accidentally yeah. warp like uh, too close to him. That'll decloak. Maybe you, give you him a scare. You take planet one at one hundred, and I'll take it at zero. Yeah, maybe we should also do that from wormhole one, so that we have the same line. Yeah, unless it's a, yeah okay sure. And. That's very white, C3-ish. That's, that's probably a C3, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to wormhole 1 at 10, and then I'll take planet 1 at how much? I don't know, 100 or 70 or something. Yeah, 70, I think, and then you at like 20. Then we've got a lot covered. The probes are gone. Well, if he's actually scanning down stuff, it's normal that they will be grouped uh, together close to whatever he's scanning. That's true. There mm. is a Sarum Magnate, so he's probably coming oh, yeah, from there you go. high sec. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe he's warping to the wormhole, of course. That's possible. I'll start aligning. Planet one for now. Of course, the Sarum Magnet will be pretty. He's gone now. He's gone. He's gone again. Hmm. Might okay, be a well, safe spot. Okay, I'll do Planet one at seventy. I'll do it at twenty. Let's see. And we'll see if nothing. I think we'll we'll take the exit. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Because well, we have another seven nano ribbons, another thirty-five million uh, to. Safeguard, and then we'll see uh, for the for the next episode. Might be in two days or maybe a little bit later. We'll see what we feel like doing. No. Okay. All right. Nothing visible, but interesting experience. Some more money made. So, room all one at zero. And I'm, I'm really surprised how easy we're finding these exits. Um, yeah. This is this is really unusual, I think. You might end up stuck in wormhole space for a, a bit more than what we've experienced. 
uh, if you try it on your own. But very good learning experience, um, decently fun to do. One thing to keep in mind, of course, if you do this with other people, you've got to be a bit more organized uh, on your times. So to be honest, really, all we've been doing since this weekend are uh, these dives. And that's it. We've not really been able to play any other uh, EVE Online since then. So, or outside of these, just because you have to be online at the same time. So let's have a quick look at where we end up. Uh, yeah, five jumps from Yona, our home base. Three jumps from the Dixie if you want to go and sell. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. that, that is okay. That's really great for us. Um, so yeah, there you go. Pretty easy time that we're having so far uh, in, in, in the dives in Wormhole space. And we've not met a lot of people. Certainly not a lot of aggressive people. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go guys. I think we'll, we'll be heading home, securing the rest of the loot. And then we'll start planning for some uh, for some other stuff later on. Thank you very much for watching. It's, uh, it's greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed it too. Just some wormhole action. Not any real PvP just yet. But keep, keep a few things in mind. I know a lot of people do enjoy the wormhole content or the PvP content. Uh, but we've got probably a few new people coming later this month. So that might take up a little bit more of our time and effort. And live events might be coming back as well towards the winter expansion. So that's definitely something we would like to join as well. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah, if we decide we want to do another dive, uh, we'll make sure to do it live. So thanks again for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.